Hello everyone, greetings on this bright day towards the full moon. Our theme today is meditation as a tool in our work with our nation. Of course, there are many different tools, many different approaches to working spiritually for one's nation. But uh, in our esoteric community, with our background, meditation is surely the central tool. So today we would like to share with you some of our own experience with this tool, meditation, on the national level. Of course, our baseline is the teachings, the wisdom teachings of DK, the Tibetan master, and also Asajoli's psychosynthesis of a nation. And uh, additionally, over the years, over the decades, we can say, as uh, working with the Jewish people, we have developed some, uh, some methodology, some approaches of our own. Um, what we will bring here today is in no way exhaustive. It's just a few of the main aspects that we are working with. It's just for, for an inspiration in your own work. Uh, very generally, we can say that the national work, uh, national meditative work is not so different from, from the meditation on the personal level that we do for ourselves. It's only on a larger scale. So also here we have a basic alignment that we can call a standard procedure, uh, which is based on what uh, the Tibetan master has given us for our own daily use. <clears throat> um, and the elements of this basic alignment are yeah, more or less present in each uh, meditative session we do also with the nation. Um, so as I said, it's, um, it's roughly the same elements, only the scope is much larger and therefore the dynamics and the undercurrents are more intense and complex. And uh, when the scope is larger, then we need more will, more centralization to hold it all together. So let us have a look at the different elements. Sasha, can you put the, the slide on? Okay. So, of course, we start with a personal alignment, like we always do. And then we do a group alignment. What we are doing with this is what uh, Greta also now led us into, and which we have done here in the uh, in the webinars, in the previous webinars uh, each time, we in imagination climb onto a pinnacle. This is uh, a meditation uh, element that uh, DK has given to Asajoli with his work with the Jewish people, onto a mountain top from which we can uh, oversee our nation. And uh, there we meet our other group members, our national unit. And uh, we can say by the bare fact that we climb this mountain, we already state our dedication to this national work. And if, uh, if a group has a specific uh, affirmation or a specific statement of purpose, uh, this would be the moment when to state it. And uh, when we have a good stand on our pinnacle as a group, and of course we have already practiced and we will continue to practice uh, how to weave all group members into one uh, unit, because this is so 
so important for, for the quality of the work. The alignment is everything. Um, after we have that, then we align with the other national units on their own pinnacles. Um, and we weave this, these uh, lines of light between the various outposts. So we have slowly, slowly, we, uh, we are stabilizing this planetary network. And also by linking in with this network, um, it has a stabilizing effect on us as we do our work and also a protective effect. And once we have this planetary network in place, then we rise in our consciousness to what we call here a buddhic consciousness, the buddhic plane. It's very evocative to aim towards the buddhic plane. Of course, this must be practiced. And uh, in the beginning, we, we do this as if, as if we go to the buddhic plane. And uh, by practicing, we um, sense more and more, we get more and more of a sense, what, what could this buddhic plane be? Uh, Consciousness-wise, um, this high aiming helps us to go beyond what we mentally grasp, what we already know, and we can there completely open our consciousness to the higher world, to that part of that level of the higher world uh, on which we can get a glimpse of a national soul. So this is a long-term practice. And when we are there, then we become aware, we can link in or aim towards linking with co-workers, with high beings that work with the soul of our nation. And these beings are humans, ashramic, and also devas, deva beings. And of course, this is already something very specific that uh, takes also time for a group to link into and get to, get to know, um, experiment with these connections. Um, for the beginning, this is uh, um, very general and in time it becomes more specific. And when we are in this alignment with the higher beings, then we can um, open ourselves to a telepathic connection with the national soul. And of course, again, this is very experimental at our stage. Um, we do as if, and we open all the antennas that we have in order to get an experience, a felt sense first. And so this is the high point of the, of the meditation, of course. And afterwards, we learn how to download, to bring down our impressions and this high energy from the national soul into our group field. And this requires a skill of formulation to bring these impressions somehow into word forms that our brain can grasp and and remember and share. Okay, and then um, the, the skill of distributing of the national soul energy 
through the mental, emotional and physical fields of the nation. This is something that we are very familiar with on, on, uh, on, the, on the personal and the group level. And here, of course, it's, uh, it can become also in time, it will become uh, very specific when you work on this for, for years, then uh, a great specificity can also be developed here. <clears throat> and after that, it's very important to release, to release all this work, to, um, to disconnect from the nation, from the field of the nation, because it's a very strong energy. And uh, in order to not drain ourselves, not to be overstimulated, um, we disconnect and we ground back into our own group life and individuality. Yeah, so here's already a lot to, to be practiced. And in a moment we will do a practice in meditation with these steps. If you uh, meanwhile have any questions, maybe write them down for later. Um, I would just want to add a few more uh, specific tasks. There are many possible specific tasks, of course, that we can do through meditation. And this is varying according to the specific need and, and um, interest and circumstance of the group and the nation, of course. Um, and each group will develop its own work method and focus. Um, okay, Sasha, can you put the, the next slide? Thanks. Um, okay, so here we have listed just a few uh, specific things that uh, we do and uh, I can just tell you a little bit of, uh, of each one of these points, uh, uh, what is our experience. Meditative inquiry into the personality of the nation, this is a very deep a uh, subject that perhaps we will give a, a whole um, webinar for it by itself. Um, it's actually using our flashlight, the mental of the group heart, the group mind and the group intuition to throw light, to discern something of the personality of the nation. Of course, the physical part of the nation is uh, relatively easy because we can use our concrete mind for it. Um, and we do it like a, like a therapist would do with a, with a patient. Just doing a, how you call that, an inventory of, uh, of the, um, the nation, its physical assets and, and circumstances and location and so on. And then also uh, in the subtle fields, the, the national atmosphere, the national emotional patterns, and, uh, and then on the mental plane, the thought forms that condition the nation. Um, this is a a very deep work and it requires a lot of patience. Um, yeah, we did this for years and years with the, with the Jewish people um, until we got some kind of an overview. Of course, the Jewish people is uh, one of the most complex and ancient entities to meditatively inquire. Um, yeah, and the second point is working with uh, specific qualities. And here we have many different qualities that we can use. Um, if we know the astrological chart of, uh, 
or some astrological uh, um, information of a nation or the ray makeup of the nation, we can invoke for example, the soul ray in our Klangschale German group. We are, uh, it has a central place in our work to, to invoke the fourth ray, which is the soul ray of Germany. Um, we can also invoke a specific soul quality that we have intuited, like for example, the, the group uh, working with the Canadian soul, are uh, working with uh, invoking different qualities that they have already discerned. One of them, uh, if I remember, is uh, clarity. And yeah, another one is what I call here a medicine. Uh, some quality that we discern is lacking or that would very much help the nation where it is. Um, we use this, uh, we, we use the will to love as a medicine when we do our Jerusalem meditation every week. We do this, don't remember, for seven years maybe already. All these um, these specific tasks uh, that we work on in a nation, they are long-term tasks. They, they need a lot of time to be developed, to be um, mastered and uh, for some results to be, to be seen or felt. Um, okay, and then we have the transmutation work addressing a specific glamour of the nation. For example, we have worked for a while with the glamour of separativeness concerning the Jewish people. I know that the group in Tucson also uh, works, or at least worked for a long time on the glamour of separativeness. It's very deep work. Um, and then we have the healing work that uh, can address a national trauma or a conflict. We have done for quite a while a work of uh, with the Jewish and the Arabs in in our area in the Israel Palestine area. Yes, and other other groups, of course. Uh, a lot is about the indigenous populations and the wounds from the past. And after we have done some work with, with this inquiry into the personality of the nation and we find a little bit our bearings, then we can do a process of with the vision for a nation, with or with the next step, or with uh, what uh, St. Julie calls the ideal model, to intuit what is intended for a nation. What's its sole purpose? And yeah, this is uh, this takes a long time, and it is coming out of a distillation from many impressions. Um, yeah, okay, so maybe at one point we will we will do specific webinars on these specific tasks according to your um, interest. Um, there's one more thing, uh, this capitalizing on, on specific events. We have national events like an Independence Day or an Election Day or Holocaust Day, for example. Um, and we have international days like the International Day of Peace. And we have these astrological events that uh, we in the esoteric community use uh, already quite, 
quite prominently. Um, like the great conjunction that we just had. There's also, we in the, uh, with the Jewish people, we work with, uh, uh, as Sasha has said, we, we are a meeting uh, in the Capricorn time in Jerusalem every year, physically. Uh, uh, Capricorn is uh, the Jewish people's uh, personality sign and it has also some other um, meanings. Um, so yes, we can use these uh, specific times also very conducively in the national work. Okay, this was quite a lot. Mm. Before we go, before we open the floor uh, for questions and uh, your experiences, mm. Let us first do a meditation, a practice of, uh, of some of what uh, we have covered now. And we will do today the, the standard procedure plus one specific element. Um, and this is, we will capitalize now on the fact that this time of, of the end of the year is traditionally a time for review. Um, and especially this year is, uh, lends itself well to it because uh, it's one year uh, after the festival week of the new group of world servers and also one year since the beginning of the corona phenomenon has, uh, yeah, since this has hit our planet. Um, yeah, so let us uh, do this meditation and uh, what we would like to uh, suggest to re recommend is that you have pen and paper ready because this a review is also kind of a, a, a specific uh, type of inquiry. Whenever we make an inquiry it is good to have a pen and paper ready because so many impressions come up and um, if we don't write them down they make rounds in our mind and occupy mind space and we are we are concerned with not not forgetting it and then we are not open to to more impressions so this is also of course a skill to stay in meditation, to open one eye or something, jot down a, a word or a, a little whatever diagram um, to capture uh, the impression and then be be free to to for the next impression. Okay. So we will first do this, uh, the, the review, uh, first do the, the, the standard procedure and then standing on our mountain top, we will have a look backwards over the past year in our nation and then also a peek forwards into what may lie ahead for our nation. <laughs> 